The film opens with a volunteer named Ray who is going through a Spiderhead clinical trial. This trial is conducted by Steve Abnesty, the supposed head of the Spiderhead program and his partner Mark. This program is overseen and regulated by a protocols committee and is made up of former inmates with a violent history. Jeff is a participant in the program. Steve tests a drug on Jeff and the drug is called N40. They blindfold him and take him somewhere. They give him the drug through his Moby Pock. The colorful thing we see attached to the back of the participants is called the Moby Pock. It is the device that is used to administer or drip the drugs into the blood of the participants. Late at night, Jeff has a flashback in which it is revealed that Jeff is a convict serving time for manslaughter after he crashed a car while driving drunk, killing his friend. But he chooses not to go to a regular prison, he chooses to volunteer for this prison where he is allowed to roam free in the halls, where he served good food, and where there are no guards. But the price for all of this is that Jeff and all the other prisoners must partake in human drug trials for some decidedly experimental pharmaceuticals. One day, Jeff is put in a trial with another test subject, Heather. Both prisoners are given a dose of N40, or, Lovicton, though they have never met before, Jeff and Heather instantly fall in love and get wildly intimate in front of them. Then Steve repeats the same experiment with Jeff and another woman, Sarah, who is older and less attractive and the results are the same. For the next trial, Steve asks Jeff to choose which one of the two women to give darkened Phlox, a drug that induces intense fear and psychological pain. Jeff declines to choose, claiming he feels nothing in particular for either one of them after the effects of the love drug had worn off. In the next trial, Steve does the opposite as Jeff is with another man and Heather has to choose. Later on, Steve brings Jeff into the mission control room with him. After a disaster in which Heather accidentally breaks her Moby Pock, Steve is unable to back off the darkened flocks, and Heather kills herself in the observation room. After Heather's death and Jeff finding out that there is no committee and that Steve made it all up, Steve and Jeff get high on the laughing drug together. Later, Jeff and Lizzie sleep together. After he witnesses them mirroring each other's language, Steve realizes that Jeff and Lizzie have fallen in love. Steve calls Jeff into the mission control room to watch as Lizzie is given darkened flocks. The next day, Back in the observation room, Lizzie confesses her crime. She forgot about her baby in a hot car and killed her own baby. Then Steve abruptly starts laughing. Jeff reveals that he had Verlaine, his assistant, drug Steve's Moby Pock. Jeff now controls Steve's fate. Jeff gives Steve a big dose of darkened Phlox, then explains that he figured it out. Steve was never testing all these other drugs, he was testing an obedience drug, B6. Steve was trying to see how far he could push the prisoners to obey. Steve admits this is true. They were testing for absolute obedience. But, Steve said, B6 failed, because Jeff proved that if you love something enough, you can disobey. Steve overpowers the drugs in his system. Jeff and Steve tussle, and Steve damages his Moby Pock. The drugs in his system go haywire. Jeff rescues Lizzie, and the two escape the prison. The police are on their way, but Steve escapes too via his private water jet. But the drugs are still going wild in Steve's system. One of the drugs that we saw Jeff on at the beginning of the movie, the one that made him see a nuclear wasteland as a beautiful landscape, makes Steve see a sunset, where he should have seen a mountainside. Steve thinks he's flying off into the sunset, but in reality, he crashes into a cliff. Jeff and Lizzie watch the crash as they escape in the speedboat. Jeff muses in a voiceover that he wishes there were a self-forgiveness drug. Here, this movie ends.